How much garbage do we make? Good work. Well, good morning. It is about five o'clock. I'm headed to the yard. I'm gonna go meet up with Mike. So since I took the salter off, we put it on Mike's truck. I'm not joking, it hasn't stopped snowing. As you can see, it's snowing really, really, really lightly. But over time, it keeps kind of coating everything and it needs to be salted. So I haven't videoed anything from then until now, but we've been out salting and salting and salting and this morning we're going out salting it's still snowing um, it's supposed to keep snowing today for a while hopefully this is going to be the last day so these are these are the little irritating snowfalls when they just won't quit even though it's such little snow you still got to deal with it so we're going to head up grab some coffee and then meet up with mike How's it going? Good. How do you like those little salters? Good. Yeah? Works. Does your salt ever get uh, hard in there? Yeah, you just have to... Shake it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bounce it around a little bit? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah I saw you on... I was using YouTube. I saw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I make videos. Yeah, I so, like them. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, have a good morning. You too. All right. That's a brand new Cat 299D. It's beautiful, it's quiet. Yeah, so this contractor here, Nate's, I don't know them, but they're a large, they're a large contractor. But that's how they salt all their lots, is they keep those little totes full of salt i think boss makes those it's a it's a skid steer attachment and then they have a concrete truck come around all their sites filled with salt and they fill all their totes so i don't know how many totes he has here maybe 10 and they just continually keep them stocked and then they can just send their employees here they jump in the skid steer they plow the lot and they can salt a lot so they don't have to have a company vehicle they can bring their you know they can bring their cars over here whenever and jump in the skid steer and, and completely take care of a of a place like this that's pretty cool he's the only one i know that does that i've never seen another contractor use that method morning jessica okay how are you good how are you did you want your receipt nope all right you have a nice day all right thank you you too Sweet. I just missed a call from Daryl. I think he's coming in to shovel walks with my son Ryan Jr. Hello. I'm like six minutes away. Yeah, uh, it's cold out here. Uh, yeah, 23. It's not too bad. I know. <laughs> um, I'm I'm gonna meet Mike at the yard to load his truck. Uh huh. So. You know where everything is? In that garbage enclosure? Yep. Yeah, you could just go there and start whenever you're ready. And... Well, do you start doing the blocks or? Uh, yeah, do the, <clears throat> I don't think we need to plow anything except for the city walks, but I would What's do that? I would do that last. I would start shoveling the, uh, the private walks. Okay. And then Ryan Jr. is gonna come and help too with the walks. All right. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. I'll work. Yeah, I'll see. Right. I'll see you over there. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Ryan Jr.'s done with school. Not done. He's on Christmas break now, so he's gonna help out when it snows or if it snows beyond today. Mike's here. It's 5:34. I am late. I don't know how I'm late. It seemed like I left early enough. What's that? I told you it was gonna keep yeah. snowing. You know, it's still snowing. I know. 
And it doesn't look like it's going to stop no. for a little while. <laughs> yeah, when I was looking at my radar yesterday, it was showing that it kind of started dying off at 11. Yeah, right. They kept saying that. Yeah, this kind of stinks. I was hoping, you know, I put that salter on Mike's truck. I had it timed out where I thought I was going to be able to get a salter, uh, one of the new salters right away. But now it's delayed and some other things happen and it's delayed and... Uh, I might not have a truck with a salter on it for another like week and a half to two weeks. So the timing was really not not good at all to take that salter off. It was just one of those things where I thought things were going to work out and they didn't. So now what I'm doing is I'm basically paying Mike with salt. So I'm giving him salt to do not only his lots but mine as well. And you know he's applying it and that's kind of the trade-off so we'll go load him up and then get busy again so far this thing hasn't had any trouble starting I mean granted it's like 23 right now so it's not really really cold but it's getting there so this has got to warm up these newer machines they don't they don't let you operate them until it's warm enough like right now if I try to throttle it up it says engine speed restricted hydraulic oil temperature lesser than 30 degrees Fahrenheit so it won't let you operate kind of helps to protect itself I guess the same spot by the church there. Oh, sounds good. I think Daryl's over there doing oh, really? shoveling sidewalks, yeah. Daryl just called me, he said to bring some shovels and some buckets of salt or something. He said there's no shovels up there. I just put three brand new shovels in there. I was just letting you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. What did they do with my brand new shovels? Yeah. All right, hey, I'll, I'll go get some more. All right, I think Daryl and my son are both here more than likely waiting on me because they don't have shovels yeah I put three shovels and then that night it I snowed it the college kids came did their thing well, and they they used, like, now all the shovels are gone I think they might have moved them because somebody might have well I need to find them because those are like really good expensive shovels they were those white ones that were sitting there. I know This, I think, is the church's, right? That's not mine, that's the church's. <laughs> yeah, this is terrible. You're gonna need probably more than two bags. Yep. You got to salt kind of heavy on the walks because it's still snowing. Yep. It's not done yet. Yep. Man, there's a lot of snow. I know. There's more than I thought on these driveways. Oh my. Probably gonna have to plow these driveways. Uh, Probably gonna have to plow these driveways. That's what I was thinking too. That's not good. Hey Ryan. Hey, why don't you go do all your stuff first? Okay. Cause these driveways over here, like these actually need to be scraped. Oh, okay. So if you want to do all yours and Sentec and everything and then and then come back with us and see how far we're at as far as scraping the driveways. Okay. Sounds good, right? And then we'll do mine. All right. Yep. Bye. Bye. Just go to the church and get the small skid steer and come over here and start plowing the driveways. All right. I'm going to get the big skid steer because Mike's not going to hang around forever. I, I want to get this done right away so we can salt everything. All right. Because the church, I know, is just going to need salt. Okay. But, yeah, let's just hurry up and scrape this real quick. 
it's one of those things where the radar you know it's there over you and then behind it it keeps kind of building up and building up so you never know when it's going to end you got to switch plows out right. you got to switch plows oh, I think it's on. Try it. Let me grab my pickup truck. Okay. He's got an old 7.3 and he has a lot of miles on this truck. And this thing pulls a heavy trailer all over the country. It's totally fine. You gotta get out of the cold and get back down south. I know, that's what I'm trying to do. I just wanna see how dead it is. Yeah, it's pretty dead. It could be a little while. Uh, in fact, you know what? If I put this in neutral, do you think we could just move it real quick? Oh, yeah. Literally, that would get my purpose. Um, be careful. Because your van's right in front of it. If you go too far, because you're not going to really have brakes. You know what I mean? That would make things infinitely worse. <laughs> You can get to it now. Okay, but honestly, I can leave the keys so they can jump up on the camera and move it when they want. It's probably, <laughs> honestly, this is probably going to take a while. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't want to take any more of your time. I appreciate it. I know your 7.3 never has a problem starting up. No, well, you, you, how many miles do you have on here? 280. Yeah, and though, that's 280,000 hard miles. Yeah. Like my truck hardly pulls anything. It pulls that little mesh trailer, which doesn't weigh anything. All right, so that didn't work, but at least we moved it forward enough so he can get what he needs. He's gonna come back later. All right, Daryl started. He's got one, two, three, four, five driveways done. So I always plow these driveways exactly the same. So just like a plow truck, you back drag away from the garage. Two or three times, it just kind of depends. And this is where skid loaders whip out pickup trucks every time, is you just come up here and you spin, just like this. Turn around and you're plowing. The last two companies that did this, they tried to do this with pickup trucks. And basically, all they ended up doing is making a mess. And obviously, I would take an enormous amount of time with the pickup truck trying to maneuver in here. So that's one of the reasons why they called me back to do it again this year. I left a little bit there. Because with skid loaders you can get right to the edges it's efficient you're in and out you don't leave a mess i've been busy though the last four days man i have very little sleep the last four days or so i keep having to get up real early and go out and then during the day i'm busy so i don't sleep and then i'm back out again at night this is just one of them nuisance type storms where you only get a couple inches of snow but it lasts for days. That was easy. Really easy. Now what do you want me to do? You want me to hit those driveways, the church driveways over there and down this way? 
Um, you got that one way over here and then... Uh, uh, I know where they are, Daryl. Hi. I know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just asking if you want me to hit those ones down that way coming back or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get the one that's way over here. Uh-huh, and then the ones down... Yeah, and I'm going to go this way and get the driveways out this way, and I'll come around and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. All right. So, I don't know where... Now, Mike, you come and salt all this. I don't know if he called yet. No. No, he didn't call yet. All right. That'll work. All right. I'm done. Daryl's on his way back here. He's right there. Easy. It should be easy. There's only like a half an inch of snow. A half an inch is like two feet. Yeah, right. All done, Mike? Just about. I just wasn't sure where you were at, so. Snowblower? <laughs> Did you go to Sentec already or no? Yep. You did? Let's see how much salt we got left. Hopefully, oh, a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Should be enough. Oh, I forgot to tell you, a DNR called me. The DNR called you? Yeah. Appreciate your honesty, blah, blah, blah. Here's the you know, things that you need to do to continue. How much garbage do you make? Take a look at the back. Wow. <laughs> oh. Getting creative. <laughs> a truck wouldn't start, so you know. <laughs> yeah, giving you the salter was really bad time. They're talking about snow all next week, too. Yeah, it's you know, three, <laughs> three to five inches or something. Oh, like man. Daryl Jr. is trying to talk me into buying buying another truck that already has a plow and salter. Oh yeah. Just temporarily, he said, until I get one of my <laughs> other trucks back. How long does it take to install a salter? Uh, well, you saw it was involved. Oh yeah. I mean, what would that take? Maybe four hours. Yeah. Or so. When, what did you end up going through then? Uh, it's called Truck and Auto Elegance. Oh, is that where we dropped your uh, yes. wife's van off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I had that. I had them install my wife's hitch. Okay. Oh, I seemed pretty good there. I give everybody a chance. Yeah. You know, when I had my wife's hitch installed, he said, bring it in on this day. And, you know, it was like a week out. Yeah. I brought it in. They were ready for me. They weren't surprised. And they installed it, called me right back up. Like, it's done. Pick it up. And I looked at the installation. It was nice and clean. Nice. And I was like, all right. That was like one of Ford's biggest mistakes ever. The six liter. Oh, yeah. And then the 6.4, six four. like they didn't learn anything. No. Like two horrible motors. So if you're looking at like used pickup trucks, I, I, cheap. I know, but I skip right through those years. Yep. From like 2002 to like 2000 and whenever yeah, they like started. Or something like they, yeah. No, no, not eight till like 12. Oh yeah. I think is when they start building the 6.7. Oh really? Yeah. The eight was a six four, nine was a six four. Okay. Ten. I think eleven or twelve they started building the six seven. Okay. But even the first two years of those they had a lot of problems. Yeah. And then they got better. The, the only thing I really like everybody loves about the six liter is it's got a lot of nice turbo noise. Yeah. Yeah it does. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my seven three man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that thing back up to par. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get the new bed on it. I'm gonna get a detail. I'm gonna get it wrapped. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna like get it all cleaned back up and, cause it's still a nice truck. That man. is a nice truck. The thing will go for a while yet. What's the. And then uh, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do an intake and exhaust. Oh, yeah. And, nice. a, and a tune, yeah. I have that. Nothing uh, crazy. That hydro tuner in my truck, I really like that. Yeah. Are your new salters stainless steel too? No. No? They're plastic. What do you think about those? I don't know. I was really debating, you know, what I should buy. You have to kind of like put some pressure on it. I went back and forth and I guess the benefit of the plastic is it doesn't freeze up as easily and stick mm -hmm. to plastic as stainless steel. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, 
but I went back and forth because they have the Helix in the stainless. Okay. I could have bought either one and the price really wasn't any different. Okay. But I decided to go with the plastic just to see if that's true. This guy's mean right here. Yeah. The guy with the grill. Okay. Oh, I've had it out with him. Really? <laughs> like twice I had it out with him, like really had it out really? with him. Really? Yeah, one time when I was mowing lawn and one time, the very first time I came, and I did the snow, he yeah. comes out and he starts yelling at me. The very first time I ever did snow here, several years ago, <laughs> he comes out, he's like, I don't want no salt on my driveway. You guys put too much and you do this. I was like, I've never been here before ever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I told him, I was like, I'm brand new. So he, he doesn't really let up on me. Yeah. He keeps yelling at me. I'm like, it's my first time here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get along with him. But the other guy that I, the other guy that I didn't get along with, I had it out with him. Yeah. He doesn't live here anymore, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only other. Well, there's there's others too, but he's the only other real big, big problem. problem. All right, see you later. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we'll see you later, man. All right. Well, how did it feel to use your old salter? Felt just like before. Pretty much the same thing. We're all done. Yeah, I like that you walking down the sidewalk in the backpack floor. I was yeah. like, what the heck? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is where they welded it? Yeah. This plate is new? No, 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 no. It started cracking on the. Oh, you can't see it from. Oh, you can see the cracks up here. Oh, okay. Off the top of that. Yeah. Is that stainless or aluminum? Stainless. And they welded the stainless. Yep. What made it crack? Vibrator. Vibration. It is a vibrator. That's come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a kick out of the ones that are poly with a, just a normal steel frame. Yeah. Kind of defeats the purpose. It, of, they just rust out. You yeah. see those old snow axes, the frame is completely gone. Uh, yeah. Just rotted. Yeah. I, is that what and it took them a lot of years to finally switch over to stainless. <laughs> yeah. The new one is called a Helix. So the auger, it's kind of a different type of shape. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a different shape of auger. It's supposed to like have less clogs and stuff huh. like that. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll run it and see. Yeah. Like you go online, like YouTube, there's not a lot of reviews yeah. about those types of salters. No, there's really not. Huh. So I'll give it a review. <laughs> if it has problems, everybody's gonna know. know about <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yeah. Hey, none of these companies, they never give me anything. I pay for everything in full, so I'll say whatever I want. Exactly. That's why I don't take freebies from anybody. People want to give me this and that and then say something nice about their product. Well, I ain't gonna say something nice if I don't like it. Yeah, if it's and I don't really feel like taking it for free because what if I don't like it? Yeah, you know, stuck with then it, I'm right either, now. you know, they expect me to say something nice, but it's just not gonna happen. Yeah. I just wouldn't do that. It's like selling out. Yeah. A lot of guys do that. I, I won't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna sell out like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, buy this. This is the greatest. And then, you know, it doesn't work. Yeah. And then you, you know. all kinds of people buying it. They're yes. all bad at you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, thank you. I prefer just to pay for everything myself and not have any anything tied to that. Yeah. All right. All right see you, Mike. See you All right. Thank you. Hey, we got to switch the skid steers or something. Watch out, he's going to run you down. I don't want to use that New Holland in the salt pile like that anymore. Okay. Okay, it's going on 8.30. We're here at the yard. What we're doing is we're going to load up the New Holland out of the salt bin take it to the winter shop and then bring the T320 back here. It's really, really bothering me that we're using the brand new New Holland in the salt pile when I have the T320. It's just kind of how things worked out in the beginning, but we're gonna correct that today. I really don't wanna rot that thing out. Don't flip my machine over, Daryl. Don't flip my machine over, Daryl. Oh, oh man, Daryl's making me nervous. I thought you were gonna flip like a turtle. Yeah, right. You, it looked like it was getting close. Come on. <laughs> I would have been so mad at you. Oh, so mad. <laughs> Crushes the top of the cab. It's all junk. 
Hey, it's got like it's got like three hours on it. Been a good video. No, no thank you. No thank you. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna get some more coffee. Fuel for what? FBI. I think that's a military military helicopter. And our trusty fuel gauge right here. About four inches in there. I only got sixty dollars. Just put that all in there. No cheese puffs, please. Come oh on. All right, we're here. I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts to grab some coffee and it is awful. Normally Dunkin' Donuts coffee is good, but it tastes like burnt tar. I think they have their coffee machine set too hot and they leave them on for too long and it starts to burn the coffee and it just tastes terrible. All right, we're gonna get this thing loaded up as soon as Daryl gets here. The graffiti guy hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'm gonna call him. Oh, another thing, somebody commented that I needed a big American flag, so I did order one. I think I'm gonna put it on this wall here. I think it's eight by, uh, I don't remember, eight by 12 or 15, it's big, I don't know. But we're gonna hang that over there, and then hopefully that guy will come through with a quote, and we'll be able to uh, do some graffiti cool stuff over there. The guy showed me pictures on his phone. I know I didn't really show it, you know, up close with the camera, but he does incredible work. I mean, he's a true artist with the rattle can. Daryl's here. I couldn't even hear him. I had this heater on. Make sure the key's all the way turned off. Yep. It's not. Now it is. Forks are gonna keep here. Do we have forks at the yard still? Yeah. It's getting cold out here. Did you see the dial? temperature next week? The whole highs in the like 10, 11 degrees for a high. We need to heat a job. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the time. Hey, unload that when you get there. I can't hear you. Don't leave that on the trailer. Unload it when you get there. Yeah, Put it in the salt bin. Exactly. They're talking a whole bunch of snow again next week. I know. We like to push snow tonight. Oh, don't say that. Not tonight. All right, so we switched to Bobcats. Daryl's gone now. I'm here at a place called You Break, I Fix. And my old phone, I mentioned I bought a brand new phone, the iPhone 14 Pro Max or something like that. But my old phone, I wanna give to my daughter. Um, I buy phones every year, but my phones after a year, they get pretty beat up. So this is my old phone and the whole back glass is cracked. As you can see, it's pretty bad. So I brought it here and I'm gonna see if they can fix it. I don't know if they can fix it or not. This whole thing where the cameras are, this is all busted. This is all busted up. And uh, the front glass is fine. It's chipped and stuff, that's just a screen protector. So I'm gonna see what the charge is to see if they can fix this thing here or not, or if I just need to buy a new phone. I don't know if it's worth it. But. This phone here, the new one, it'll look just like this one in a year, and then I'll replace it again. Just doing construction work, and I, I have my phone out all the time. I am on my phone more than I should be. Um, but we'll see what they say. I've never been to a place like this. I've never had a phone repaired. So that lady standing by the door. It opens at 10. It's 9.58 right now. But she's had her face smashed against the glass. She keeps pulling on the handle of the door. They're not open yet. 
She keeps pulling on the handle of the door and rattling the door like it's going to get somebody's attention. Just relax. <laughs> She's literally knocking on the glass now. Pulling on the handle, knocking on the glass. Just right now, it turned 10 a.m. Oh, she's pointing to the 10 a.m. on the door. <laughs> she keeps pounding. Whoever opens the door is going to get a mouthful because it's 10.01 now. So I'm trying to decide if this is something that can be fixed or not. So the back is all smashed. iPhone 13, this is something that can be repaired. You'll be looking at a repair cost of... One second. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yep. And then, uh, do you guys do the new uh, new screen protector? Um, I believe we still have some, so yeah, we can do that. That'd be an extra twenty bucks. Okay. So the new back—that's all of this, too, right? They'll replace all of this. I mean, this part. Yep. So that crack will be gone. Yep. Okay. All right. Everything around the cameras, everything, all this all right. will be replaced. The only thing is different is we won't have the Apple logo. I don't care. All right. So I don't think that's too bad. Some people might think that's a lot, but it's a lot cheaper than buying a brand new phone. So 200 bucks for a new back. That's the iPhone 13. So once that's fixed, then our household will be all set with phones. Hi, Daniel. What you doing? Going. going down the hill? Because I go down there and I bring a big pile and scoop it, put it in there. Swing it right next to there and dump it off. Oh, so you're taking yeah. snow from back there and putting it up here in the pile? Yeah. Mm. And I get a little right there. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah? Hopefully we'll get a lot of snow soon. Not, not just this little, little bit of snow. We need tons taller than you. In the different state, there was like the, the person up in their garage and the snow, they couldn't even back out. Yeah, that was New York. Yeah. Buffalo, New York. We don't yeah. want that much snow though. No. <laughs> that was so much. Yeah. All right, it is lunchtime, and I'm gonna take Joanna out for lunch. Joanna hasn't been on a video for a long time. When's the last time you were on a video? A long time ago, huh? Yeah. Very long. And yeah, it's snowing again. It stopped for just a little while, and it picked right back up. And Daniel, look at Daniel. He's six years old. He's got this whole driveway shoveled. Shoveled the whole driveway by himself. He's a worker. You ready, Joanna? Yep. Okay, let's go. All right, we're at Odyssey. And Autumn texted me just out of the blue and said, are you guys going out to lunch? I said, yes. And so they're all meeting us here. So I have four out of my five daughters here with me. That's kind of a treat. Hi, Autumn. Yep. How you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. What were you guys doing? What are you doing today? Oh, running around making crazy. disgusting. <laughs> um, so you're making cookies. And you're making cookies? Oh, for church? Yeah. For tonight? You needed more cookies for tonight? <laughs> yeah, we sold so many last night. It's gotta be the best cookie sale ever. Hi. Good. You guys all got the same thing? Yeah. I know, I was like, yeah, they liked it. They got it. Wow. I guess. I saw it. Me and, he, me and Hannah saw it, and we just went. And what about Joanna? Are you copy? Joanna copied. Oh, so we didn't Joanna. even realize we were freaking the Are you ready? Ready? You gone? All right. Okay, bye. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Huh? Bye, Jen. No, you're not.
Thank you, my dear. Just thank you. Receive. No, that's okay. Right, thank you. Have All a right. nice Christmas. Thank you. Take care. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much. All right, we just got home from lunch, and I have a long night ahead of me. Sitting on the computer, not my favorite. So I don't know when it will be, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.